How may I help you? Hey, how's it going? Going good. How about you, sir? Not too bad, Richard. Got your name right, Richard? Yes. Okay, that's cool. That's my dad's name, actually. Oh. <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> um, well, thank you. I was just calling in if I could just uh, put in a little something on the little suggestion box. That's okay. Absolutely. I think that some people have too many freedoms. I mean, just the other day, I saw someone walking down the street, a crowd of people just walking down the street. I stopped. I said, where are you guys going? They said, I don't know, anywhere we want. I thought, that's not right. They shouldn't be allowed to just do that. You know? And then I, I saw someone the other day that was opening up a lemonade stand, and I thought, that should be unconstitutional or something. They shouldn't just be allowed to open up lemonade stands. Where, how come? I bet they're not filing taxes for that lemonade stand, wouldn't you say? Well, that's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's an interesting point of view that you have. I'm obviously not the only one. I mean, there's been a couple of lemonade stands that have been justifiably shut down recently. I don't know if you've seen that in the news, but they're going around arresting people, ticking in them and stuff. And I thought, we need to do that here in California. You know, this is baloney. The government needs to get a piece of everything. They need to get a piece of that lemonade stand. That's not fair. They wouldn't have got those lemons if it weren't for the government. They think they just grow on trees or something. They don't. The government builds those trees. Am I right, Richard, or what? You agree? Oh, well, I'm not too sure, actually. That's, a, that's interesting, the way that you see that. Yeah, I just think, I think people have gotten too comfortable. You know, we're just a bunch of pansies. We need to buckle up. How else are we going to win all these seven wars that we're in if people don't start buckling down and getting down to business and stop dicking around and opening up lemonade stands? You need to start training in the woods, right? Uh, so far, the congressman's doing a pretty good job of limiting these freedoms because it's just it's just getting out of control here. I, mean, I can just see a gang fight erupting any day now with these people walking up and down the streets, coming and going as they damn well please. You know, they need to be clocking in and out or something like that. Why aren't they at work? They should be at work. It was three o'clock in the afternoon. I wasn't at work, but I mean, they should have been for crying out loud, right? I mean, that's just BS. They can't just be walking around acting like they own the damn place. This don't belong to them. It belongs to those that we put in office. I heard some, some freak liberal say the other day, he said, well, God created the earth. Everyone should get their own peace for free. And I thought, get, get out of town. Who builds the roads? What would you drive on if it weren't for congressmen? Where, where would you get that, those clothes and that paycheck? Okay? Sure, you might have a little bit more money if government didn't exist. But I mean, I'm glad to pay for someone else's ticket. I have no problem paying for a senator to take off uh, 150 days a year. He should be allowed to do that. He's a senator for a reason. There, there's another constituent on the line. Would you like to uh, make a, leave a name or anything? I just, I just want to make sure that this is getting through to people, you know? I mean, I'm just sick and tired of people walking around doing whatever they please. <laughs> so I don't know if you could tell the senator this i'm sure he's busy if he's not too busy doing uh coke off the calves of hundred dollar strippers just let him know that i think we got too many freedoms and enjoy his, his vacation this weekend i heard he's taking another one so tell him enjoy that well thank you very much sir yeah thank you very much have a great day richard i appreciate it all right you too uh bye-bye